sorry, public comment. Madam President, may I speak? Yeah, three minutes. Thank you. Um, everybody, my name is Mr. Cornelius Lawson White, Jr. I live in 3638 10th Street in Alexandria, Louisiana. I've been here 61 years. I've never seen a mayor treated like this by the city council. Every white mayor has been able to do whatever they want to, but because this man is African American, and even other African Americans going after him, I was a military police officer over there in the 2-3rd night at Camp Beauregard. When Alexandria needed help, they called the MPs over there. Now, you want the sheriff's help? You get the sheriff down here and you have him talk and stuff like that. But the man said he don't need no help. What we need to do as citizens is arm up, constitutional carry. That will stop a lot of this stuff because parents have not become parents. They've become friends with their children. That's why we have the problem that we have today. When I went to school, you could paddle people. You had prayer. You had the Bible. You had Ten Commandments. Once the Supreme Court took all of that stuff out of the environment, the devil stepped right in. All I'm asking the citizens and Madam President and stuff, these people can handle it. Chief Howard can handle it. The mayor can handle it. The white mayors handle it. The white chief police handle it. You know, there have been racist police chiefs. There have been racist mayors here. I've been here, like I said, 61 years. I've seen it all. This is our first African-American mayor. He deserves a chance to work things out. But if you keep putting pressure on the man, trying to make him do something and stuff, that's where the problem comes in. Let the man do what he can do. You know, Madam President, you say you love cops and everything. The police are not going to come back for right now with the situation that's going on now. And you can give them all the money you want to. But, you know, I'm going to say this. The Democrats said defund the police. The Republicans did not. And you saw what happened up in Buffalo. A white races went up there, planned this whole thing, and killed 10 innocent black people. But if they had had arms, they would have been able to defend themselves. Aaron Slaughter gave his life. He was a retired Buffalo police officer. Gave his life for all of this. So we need to stop fighting. We're about the investigation. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. But the military police can help you. Y'all just need to ask them over there. We train with APD and stuff. I have 100% agree. Ms. Hedges, if I may just make one, one 